Hello guys, my name is Khan. Actually, today uh, I was going to. Uh, this video is about R Shiny. So, what is R Shiny? Actually, R Shiny is a open source web application framework for R developed by R Studio. Actually, R Shiny is usually used to do data analytics and allows you to create dashboards. Not just the dash, uh, just the dashboard. It's a kind of a dynamic dash. It can through R Shiny you can create uh, dynamic uh, dashboards, which will allow you to uh, filter the data too. So before starting towards the R Shiny, as I said that R Shiny is a open source web application framework for R. So in order to work in R Shiny, you need to know. A little bit basic knowledge about R in R Studio. So suppose uh, because I am making this video for uh, for all the users, those who don't even uh, even those who don't even know R or R Studio. So I will start from very basics. So suppose if you don't know R or you don't have installed R, so there is no need to be worried because R is a free software available. So you just have to Google download R and you there is a page appear. So there are different packages available for Windows and for Apple too. So then you the first link that will appear, you have to just click it or you just can click it from here, the, the package that you want to install. Uh, install the R because as I said that we will be working in R Shiny, we will also need to install R Studio. Uh, whatever you are doing in R Studio, you can do in R. But if you have to install R Studio, you need R. You need to install R first. So, so for in order to install R Studio, you just have to Google R Studio, and then the first and from that page, you can easily install R Studio. Uh, the installation of both R and R Studio is very straightforward. That's why I'm not going into it because it will kind of time consuming. So once the R and R Studio will be installed, so R and R Studio will create a shortcut link. This is the R shortcut. So if I enter into, so this is uh, the main console of R and you can write your code directly into R. But the, uh, but the thing that I have installed R Studio is because that R Studio is more user friendly compared to R. There are some built in options which are available. The representation of Windows is more uh, attractive and more easy to use. That's why most of the people or most of the coders are nowadays are moving towards R Studio. But the point to note here is that whatever you code in R Studio, you can run your code directly from R2. So Actually, R Studio is just a platform which is easy to understand, easy to work. So that's why we will be working in R Studio. But as I said before, that in order to install R Studio, uh, you have to install R first in your computer. So this is the R window. But for this R Shiny videos, we will be working through R Studio. So I will just close it. And now this is the R Studio shortcut that will be created by once you will install R Studio. So I will double click it. So once you will open the R Studio, this kind of window will appear. So, so before moving towards R Shiny, I will tell you that what this console window will show you all the results that you have computed. So suppose if I say two plus two, sorry, two plus two plus two, enter the result comes here. Here you can even uh, define the object. Suppose if I want a is equal to two. So as you can say, once you create an object, the object will appear in the environment window. Uh, you can even create a vector. So, in, in order to create a vector, suppose the vector name is B, uh, you can, it's instead of using equal to sign, you can use greater than minus sign, and then you can create a vector one, 
So this crack, this factor will be having the length three and will be storing one, two, and three. So as you can see, all my objects, the vector, the scalar, and my vector are appearing under the environment. You can even when you will in, uh, import a data set into R, the data set will also appear in this window. So after that, there there is a dialog box which you can see the recent files you have the plots whatever if you are doing any uh, visualization the your plots will also appear in this window uh, the packages that you have installed and the most important is when you will be working in r studio the help tab so suppose if you are using some function and you don't know uh, is the function how to use that function so suppose there is a uh, uh, some function in R and you know want to know more about uh, some function then you just have to simply write some enter so R will automatically take you to description of that function how that how you can use that what's the detail of that and the most important thing is that all in most of the functions R will also give you example that how you can use that uh, function so in this video i'm just giving a short and a quick uh, overview about r and r studio and uh, and now if i go uh, come to this window the, the third window that's appearing so environment will all, all will show all the objects data objects scalar objects vector objects all will appear in under the environment window uh, under the history you will see what you have done previously and under the connection, if you have created a web connection or URL connection, those links, things will be appear here. Uh, mostly the connection is not much important, uh, uh, especially if you are working on the data, which is in your computer drives. So within this video, I will also tell you guys, I suppose if you want to import data set. Uh, so importing a data set is very simple. You just have to click uh, this import data set and then there are different built-in options available you can even import other formats too but suppose if i want to import uh, an excel file i can simply browse it so my data set is located somewhere in videos suppose so the report and suppose i will be importing from here so my data is here so i will just click it and after that this thing will appear and an important thing is that I have opted first row as name so first row will be considered as the variable name so I will just say import so you can see my data now R have opened a browser window for me from where I can view my data so I can just simply close it and suppose if I want if you want to browse the data again and again you have to see that R have created uh, data object for me which is named as excel underscore data uh, you can even change the name of this object so when when i imported data uh, data from here you can even there is an option in the dialog box if you want to change the name of that data object but suppose if you want to browse it again you can just simply click double click it and then r will automatically open the data that you have imported and you can go through your data that how it looks like what are the variables or what kind of information they are capturing uh, other than that the, if you want to see just the variable name you just have to click this arrow button and it will show what are the variables so the, the variable make is correct chr means it's storing the string price is a numeric variable it means that under the price we have all numeric values uh, again so i will close it down so now uh, i will go towards the other things that uh, suppose because this window you can also write down your script here but you will not be able to save your commands even if you write down something uh, a is equal to two here uh, but you can't save uh, your code it's it's not a good practice to save your code under the console so if you want to write down your code the best thing is to you go to this add button click it and then you just click this r script button once this r script will open uh, you can directly write down your com uh, commands here uh, 
so so suppose now if you have to uh, is, uh, write down your command you can write down your commands directly here so the R script is very important especially if you are writing a long list of commands or uh, so it's always recommended that you write down your commands in R script and then you can save your scripts suppose if I said that uh, this script will be for our shiny package so I can if, if you so this is a comment in R so in order to tell R that I am writing a comment you have to start with this number sign so now I can save this script so I will save I want to save this script I suppose if I just want to save it on desktop uh, and name it testing code. I will save it. So now I have given you a very quick overview that uh, how things are working and the last thing I will tell you that if you want to run this code you just have to control all. You can simply click this run command so you can see when I run it in console it printed because I have just a one-liner code and it printed in my console that this script will be our shiny package uh, and you can also control you can also execute your code by control all and control enter uh, actually in some computers the shortcut for running uh, the running the code will may be different but for me, if I go to run, you can see that there's a shortcut to run the code is control plus enter. But before running, you have to select your code. Uh, now, the point is that uh, how to install the R package, uh, uh, sorry, uh, R shiny package. R shiny is uh, when you will install R studio, you have to install R uh, shiny first. So it's not difficult. So how to install R shiny is that you, you just have to go to your tools. Under the tools, there is an option install packages. So once you will click the install package, you have to, under the packages, you have to write down the package name. So as the package name is uh, sh uh, shiny, so I will just say shiny. This is the package I'm looking for. And then you just have to say install. Actually, I have already installed uh, Shiny, but it have uh, gone through again and checking that uh, installing it again for me. So now the uh, Shiny is installed. But for my later videos, we will may also need another package, which is also very useful, is the Shiny dashboard. Again, I will go to. Uh, uh, my tools and say install packages and after that I will be writing down shiny dashboard so this is the package that I'm looking for so I will say install so if you guys uh, are following up with this video so you have to install uh, shiny and shiny dashboard packages uh, the important thing to note here is that if you don't want to go to these tools and uh, and then uh, uh, then install the packages, the other uh, quick way is that if you use this copy uh, in this command uh, install dot packages, then you can write shiny dashboard, and for shiny you will just uh, need to write shiny enter. So it will also install do the same thing, uh, the thing that I have done, but it's more Explicit that how I install the package. So once you install the package and once you uh, start writing the code, so suppose in this code, so I will just make it maximize this code window. So in this code window, I know that uh, uh, I will be using a shiny package and shiny dashboard. The good thing is that uh, 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 so you in in the script you have to tell that we will be using those packages so in order to tell that which packages i will be using you have to write down library mm. 
library and then brackets and within the brackets you will be writing down the package name the first package name is uh, shiny and the other package name is shiny uh, dashboard so i will just copy and then okay so same shiny dashboard so so now so these are the packages that i will be using uh, in my code so you have to mention that these are the external packages that i have installed and i will be using uh, in my code so now in this video what we have done is that we have installed uh, uh, i've tell you guys that how you can install r r studio then i've given you a brief overview about the environment of r studio and then i have told you guys that how you can install shiny package and shiny dashboard packages in R Studio, and then I also give you an, a short overview about how you have to start writing your code if you uh, if you will be using sh a shiny package or shiny dashboard. Uh, in the end of the video, I will tell you guys that R Shiny is an open source web application framework for R. Developed by R Studio and R Shiny is usually used for data analytics and allows us to create dashboard. In my later videos, we will go into more detail that how you can create a dashboard or how you can create a visualization through R Shiny. Uh, thank you for watching the video.